You may have heard of elephant seals. Robert Salazar has been folding origami since he was eight years old. This is one of my first. As when he sees a sheet of paper, he gets excited. Seeing the single uncut sheet, it has everything you need to create all of the origami that have ever been folded. It's all in the single sheet, so there's, there's endless potential. That endless potential reaches all the way to space. Salazar's skill at origami is now being used to help create objects that may one day be used in space. Origami offers the potential to take a very large structure, even a vast structure, and you can get it to fit within the rocket, go up and then deploy back out again. So it uh, greatly uh, magnifies what we're capable of building in space. Folding an object the size of a baseball diamond so that it could fit into a rocket is the goal of a NASA project called Starshade. Once it opens up in space, Starshade would allow a space telescope to better see the planets around bright stars. Seeing an exoplanet uh, next to its parent star is like trying to image a firefly next to a searchlight, uh, the searchlight being the star. And Starshade seeks to block out that starlight so you can image a really faint exoplanet right next to it. Origami is also used in robot design. This robot, called the Pop-Up Flat Folding Explorer robot, has a body that can fold itself flat. It has been tested on desert terrains and snowy slopes. All right, go right up that hill. And may one day end up on a mission to another planet. It's to explore environments that otherwise would be inaccessible to a robot that couldn't fold itself to fit inside these cracks, explore, you know, cave systems on, uh, could be other planets, even on our own. Another application for space origami design is to pack an antenna such as this one into satellites the size of a briefcase called CubeSats. The bigger the antenna you have, the more gain your antenna has. So it is useful to have a big antenna that gets packaged into this tiny space that then unfolds out to be a large antenna. The biggest CubeSat antennas we have right now are about um, Eh, half a meter. Origami-inspired technology does not have to stop at these objects. So often, uh, origami design has been uh, tailored towards uh, materials that are already are lying flat. But there's actually um, a vastly, I think, much larger field of applications for which the surfaces are not flat. So they're, they could be parabolic, they could be spherical. When it comes to origami, Salazar says art, science, and engineering are quite similar. They draw on making observations and creating something that produces an impact. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News, Pasadena, California.